Hi class, welcome to Alex for Math 144. This video is going to show you around your Alex for Math 144, show you how to get to the different assignments, how to see your grades for each assignment, and just how to navigate through Alex in general. In this video, I have already taken my initial knowledge check, so I have access to my homework and my review, and I've already completed some of those in this video, so we can see how you can look at your grades and see reports of the different assignments. So this is my Alex. I have opened it. This is um, in the middle of topic one. This is my dashboard in Alex. Your dashboard could look a little, a little different depending on where you are in Alex. So you could see the topic one review here. For me, for my Alex, it's pushing me into my topic one homework right now. So I could, if I want to work on my topic one homework, I could immediately go to start my path and start working in that topic one homework. Let's look at the Alex menu. The Alex menu is going to be where you can find everything you need in Alex. The Alex menu is going to be in the top left corner. It's going to be your hamburger, those three horizontal lines. This is your Alex menu. In your Alex menu, the home page is going to open your dashboard. The learn is where you can go to work on topics of the pie. That is also where you can work on your homework. The review is where you can also see topics from your pie, but they're topics you have completed before. So that review tab is not going to take you to the review assignments. It is going to take you to review topics of your pie that you have completed. So when you want to work on the homework and you're going through the Alex menu, you can go through the learn tab. So if you go into learn, this is going to automatically push me where I left off in the homework. So you can see here I'm on interpreting a line graph. I've already started it, so I'm in the middle of working on it, and it picked me up right where I left off. When you are working on the homework, you can navigate to different topics. You can use this little down arrow that's right below your Alex menu. That will open up a list of possible topics you have, and then you can use those topics to navigate. And you can pick some out. Some of them are going to be locked. Others you can choose. So you do have a little bit of freedom there, but some of them will be locked because you need to do a prerequisite before you can get to that topic. So here are mine. So here I can navigate to a couple different ones. And then if I keep scrolling, I'm going to find some that are locked. So, for example, this one here, Review of Essential Skills and Problem Solving. I can't do that one yet. It's locked. I would need to go do a prerequisite topic, and that's going to be in my list over here. So you do have some freedom to jump around on the homework, and it will save all your work as you go. All right, going back to that Alex menu. So, again, that Review tab right below the Learn tab, that is going to take you into topics you have already completed. So when you work in that Review tab, you're not going to be making progress on the homework. Keep that in mind. You're going to be looking at topics that you've already received points for, you've already completed. Assignments. Assignments is where you can find everything for our course. This is like... This is where I go for my one-stop shop for everything I need in Alex when it comes to the homework and the review. Again, this is the Assignments tab. So if I'm in my menu and I go to Assignments, this is the tab that would open. In this tab, you will have a list of all the assignments that are open to you, and then you will see your score with the assignment if you've taken it, and then you have the ability to view the reports and to go back in and redo the assignment here. So here you can see, here's my Topic 1. Here's my score for topic one. So if I wanted to go back into that topic one homework assignment, I could click on the title here. It would open up that assignment for me, and I can go right back into it where I was. All right, let's go back to assignments. Below that, I've got the topic one review. So you can see here I've already taken it. I got an 83%. I've done two of my unlimited attempts. So let's say I want to see what I got wrong on my attempts before I go take it again. I can click on the score. When I click on the score, it'll open my review. And then here is everything I can see about my review attempts in Alex. So on this attempt, you can see, oh, I missed number five. So I would want to go back and look at number five. I can see the answer I put in, and then I can see what the correct answer should be. And then over here on the right-hand side, I also have an explanation I can open. And then this will explain the problem to you and explain how they got their numbers, how they did their work. And then I can go back and I can also look at all the problems I got right. 
So if it's been a minute since I took this review and I need to study and be prepared for my retake, I can always go back in here and look at the previous problems I had, view those explanations as well, and then help prepare for my retake of the review. Alex will always record the highest score. You can navigate to different attempts, so you can view different variations of the problem. So if I wanted to go back to attempt one, I could do that, and it would show me the problems I missed in attempt one. So you can see I missed two problems in attempt one. I got a partial, and then I missed all of number three. So then I can go back and look at these, and I can see how they would look. I can practice these ones as well, and then go back and retake my review. If I wanted to retake my review, I could do it automatically from this screen with that retake, or I can go back to that assignment list, or I can go back through assignments. If you go back through assignments and you want to retake it here, click on the title of the assignment, and then you can retake it. All right, let's go back to our assignment list. And then here you have access to future assignments here as well. So if you finish the topic one review and you've already started working on topic two, you can get in here and access future assignments as well. So you can do that from this menu and past assignments. So if you're working with your instructor on past assignments, you can come in here and you can access them here as well. These are the scores that will be copied into your Halo account. So use this to help you keep track of your current scores in Alex as you're working on the assignments. When you go back to that Alex menu, if you go under gradebook, that gradebook will also show you the scores on the assignments. You cannot see the reports here in gradebook, so that's why I like going to that assignment list instead of going into gradebook. So in gradebook, I can see my grades, I can see the percentages I have, but I can't click on that, I can't see the report. So if you want to see the report of the assignment, or if you want to see the report and be able to take it in the same place, go under assignments then you can click on the score to view the report and click on the title to go back into the assignment. And again, this is your assignments tab. All right, in Alex, you also have access to your textbook. So the textbook is very helpful for the homework. You have the textbook down here and you have access to the ebook. Ebook you can access for free. Make sure you allow pop-ups when you go to access that textbook. And then you also have access to resources here. So resources is right above our textbook. Resources are where you're going to find your DQ templates and resources for major assignments. For major assignments. So let's go into the resources tab. So here are the resources that you have available to you. You'll have the DQ tech templates. You'll have resources for major assignments and video links. This video links is a file with a bunch of different video links that are used from Alex. They have some tips on them. The DQ Tech templates, these are the ones that we're using in class. These are the ones you complete for your discussion forums. The video for each of these are in the template itself. So if you want the video to help you through topic one DQ one, download that Excel template, open it in Excel, and then the video will be on that file. Also, you have the resources for major assignments. These are resources made by your faculty members. So for example, for major assignment one, you have a PowerPoint explanation, and then you have a list of videos. So those are some resources that can help you with the major assignment. The actual major assignment is going to be found in Halo. So the actual template for the major assignment is in Halo. The resources to help you with the major assignment, the videos, the PowerPoint that help you are going to be found in Alex with under resources right next to those DQs. All right, let's go back to the menu and see what other options we have. So we went over the learn, that's where you can do your homework. Review is where you can review what you've completed in the homework. The assignments, that is where you can access any homework assignment, any review assignment, see your scores, and access the reports. Worksheets, this is not required for our class. This is optional. Alex does create some worksheets that can be helpful. You can choose to do these if you find them helpful, but they are not required. You're not going to be asked to submit the worksheets in our class. Alex also has a calendar here. I'd recommend using your Halo calendar instead of the calendar here in Alex. The Halo calendar is going to follow your course um, and it's going to follow, the Halo calendar will be the deadlines that your instructor will follow. 
We went over the gradebook. The gradebook shows you your scores, but you cannot see the reports there. So make sure you go to the assignments to see the reports. You do have a specific report area of your menu. So if you go into that, you can see reports of everything in your account. So I can see my total pie. I can see where I'm working right now on the topic one homework. I can see all of my assignments. So these, I can use this to navigate to the different parts. So if I wanted to go view my report of my entire pie, we're working on the entire pie through the entire class, I could go look at that through here. If I wanted to view the part that's only has to be completed for topic one, that's where I could go view it here. So these are all the topics I have for topic one, and then you can see how it's broken down into the future homework assignments. The message center, center is where you can message your instructor. I don't recommend messaging your instructor here. I'd recommend messaging them in Halo. That's where they're going to see it. Resources, that's where we had our DQ templates, major assignment resources. This is your textbook for the course. And then the dictionary. Use the dictionary if you find it helpful. There are some helpful definitions in there. And then we can go back to the dashboard, which is our homepage. All right, I hope this, this helps. Make sure you can find those reports. Make sure you can find the DQs. Make sure you complete your homework and review assignments. Contact your instructor if you have any other questions.